Hello, welcome to Mondays with Mira. And today we're looking at wombat walkabout. So wombats are just so much fun to use alliteration with. And they're just super fun creatures. And this is written by Cal Carol Diggory Shields and illustrated by someone that I have a little bit of an art crush on, Sophie Blackall, another Australian. Yay, Aussies! <laughs> We've got printed end sheets. And it starts off here with our title. And that it's published by Dutton Children's Books. So anyway, yes, and here's the glossary up front, which really makes a lot of sense to have it up front, where it just tells you what the different Aussie words are and what they mean. Oh, and yeah, and the different animals in the book. So let's get started. Early one morning when the sun came out, six woolly wombats went walk about. And look how minimal that art is and how gorgeous. They didn't see the dingo with the hungry eye. I've a hunch my lunch just walked on by. Six woolly wombats walking one by one, past a golden wattle blooming in the sun. The last little wombat, whose name was Clyde, stopped to smell the flowers. And then there were five. Five woolly wombats ambling right along, crossed the wooden bridge at the billabong. The last little wombat, young Theodore, stopped to throw a pebble. And we're going to predict what's going to come next. And then there were four. Four woolly wombats trekking down the track, heard a kookaburra laughing like a maniac. The last little wombat, whose name was Lee, stopped to have a listen. And then there were three. Three woolly wombats all in a row pass by the wood when the, where the gum trees grow. The last little wombat, known as Prue, stopped to pick a gum nut. And then there were two. Two woolly wombats, Jen and Jack, thought it awfully quiet, so they looked back. No little wombats? That's not good. They jumped off the track and hid in the wood. Along came the dingo, his tail a wag, and on his back, a big swag bag. That swag was lumpy and jumping all about. That bloke's got our mates. We've got to get them out. Now wombats are diggers. So Jen began to dig, while Jack gathered armloads of sticks and twigs. They dug a great pit, wide and deep. They covered it over. Then Jen began to weep. I'm a poor little wombat, all alone, lost in the woods so far from home. The dingo licked his lips and said with a yelp, Don't worry, little wombat, I'm coming to help. Lots of fun to read out loud. Crack went the branches. The dingo took a dive. The swag bag opened and out popped Clive. Then the others climbed out. One, two, three. Good work, mates, they said. What wombat glee. Six woolly wombats, good as new, walked along together two by two. Jan, Jack, Theodore, Prue, Clive and Lee had a lovely walk about. Then home for tea. Isn't that just absolutely adorable? Not a lot of deep underlying concepts with this book. It's just really fun. So, you know, there's some community, there's some teamwork. Um, there's a little bit of factual information about Australian animals and wombats in particular. But it's really just this fun romp with really delightful language that's just really fun to read out loud. And making your language fun and playful is, is really core and key to a book like this. Having an illustrator like Sophie Blackwell, my God, what a treat, what you know. Carol Diggory Shields must have been just beside herself. I mean, look at these guys. Can you get any more adorable? I just, you know, oh, I just, I'm in love with this book. So this is a retelling of an old racist, um, you know, 
I think it was called Ten Little Engines Sitting on a Fence or something like that and then one goes and then another and another. And fortunately that's no longer around. And instead we have books like The Delightful Wombat Walkabout. So I really hope you enjoyed this book today. I obviously enjoyed reading it to you. And that's it from Mondays with Mira.